Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's August 4th, 2021. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The Archdiocese of New York is against religious exemptions for vaccines. In a weekend memo, the chancellor claimed granting religious exemptions for the abortion-tainted jab is disobedient to Pope Francis, falsely alleging the pontiff thinks the vaccine is a moral obligation. Despite the Vatican's doctrinal office, with Francis's approval, releasing a statement that the jab is optional, explicitly clarifying it is not a moral obligation to get it. Meanwhile, a gay festival is behind the latest COVID outbreak. The American Spectator reported that the CDC's new mask restrictions are based on a July 4th outbreak in Provincetown, Massachusetts, where hundreds of vaccinated tourists got infected. Media failed to report those tourists were largely homosexual, attending an annual gay festival where hundreds packed into bars and engaged in anonymous sex in unsanitary conditions, a petri dish for infections. And moving to the Great Lakes, a Michigan city may soon become the state's first sanctuary city for the unborn. The Hillsdale City Council voted unanimously Monday to advance the city ordinance to committee for a full vote as pro-abortion protesters rallied outside. The ordinance would ban anyone from procuring an abortion within city limits. If it passes, Hillsdale would join more than 30 other cities in Texas, Nebraska, and Ohio, protecting children in the womb. In the Golden State, a prelate will continue saying the traditional Latin Mass. San Francisco Archbishop Salvatore Cordelioni will begin celebrating a monthly traditional liturgy on the first Wednesday of each month at the Cathedral of St. Mary of the Assumption. The update comes shortly after Cordelioni granted continued permissions to offer the extraordinary form in his archdiocese, a response to the Pope's recent decree seeking to restrict it. And over in Rome, there's a new addition to St. Peter's Basilica, and critics aren't happy. Yesterday, the Vatican unveiled a new front-facing altar at St. Joseph's traditional altar, allowing the Mass to be celebrated with the priest facing the people. Critics are blasting the move, which replaces the old altar used to say Mass ad orientum, or towards the east, with the priest facing the tabernacle, presenting a clearer focus on our Lord in the Eucharist. And in Alaska, the majority of voters want a Republican pro-abortion Catholic politician out of office. In a recent poll, Senator Lisa Murkowski, a Catholic, garnered 36% of support among voters, nine or more points ahead of every single one of her primary challengers. However, this puts the anti-Murkowski vote at 64%, putting her seat in jeopardy, with Kelly Shibaka at 27%, L.V. Jackson at 19%, and Joe Miller at 18%. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about billionaire bishops. God bless you.